Good evening. I'm Michaela White. Right now, police are on the lookout for two people behind an attempted smash and grab with a U-Haul truck. It happened Thursday morning at E-Bikes USA in Cherry Creek. That's near 2nd and University Boulevard. Our Connor McHugh spoke to the owner today, and he's live outside the store tonight. Connor. Yeah, Michaela, the storefront here is still boarded up after those two people backed a U-Haul straight through these windows on Thursday morning. Luckily for the owner, they were unable to take off with anything, and the security cameras captured all of their actions. At E-Bikes USA in Cherry Creek, business should be shifting into another gear. This is the weekend that we were supposed to kick off our summer business. But Saturday, customers arrived to a boarded up storefront with workers hauling away broken glass. So the incident took place on Thursday morning around 4.40 in the morning. Owner Hushman Marafi's security camera captured it all. First, a U-Haul truck crashing through the glass, then two hooded people scrambling around. And they didn't get anything. I mean, clearly, these are not the brightest people. Marafi says they damaged at least 16 high-end e-bikes, unable to be sold until insurance settles his claim. He'll also need new windows and likely carpet. I estimate the, the damages will exceed $100,000. Still, Marafi's thankful it wasn't worse and says that's largely because his employees always secure the bikes before closing. It's become common to smash and grab, break into a store and grab as many as you can. Yes, they did cause a lot of damage, but it wasn't easy for them to grab anything and they abandoned. Marafi and his employees reopened Friday after a day of cleanup, determined to not let those responsible steer this family business off course. We will move forward and we will be better and stronger because of it. Now, the owner here says members of the community, as long with some of the neighboring businesses in this strip, all helped with the cleanup, and that really has been a silver lining to all of this. He's also filed a police report with Denver Police and sent that clip of video to U-Haul in case they may know who was behind the wheel that morning. Live tonight in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Connor, thank you so much.